Welcome back to the Express at Pure Nail Bar in Port Moody. It's a new year, so we want to feel like we have a new you, right? You could call this pampering or you can call it maintenance. Just don't call me high maintenance, especially you, Jackie. Please don't. Uh, but it is the kind of year when you want to put your best fingertips forward, your best foot, and have your best wardrobe. So on today's West Coast Style, Mana Mansour is helping one Vancouver gal purge her closet to perfection with the help of some organizational experts. I think I might need that too. Pacific Center's West Coast Style is brought to you by Pacific Center. The West Coast is one of the most beautiful places on the planet, and I'm on the hunt to make sure that the people here look just as good as where they live. I'm Mana Mansour, and I'm a lifestyle journalist searching for the most cutting-edge fashion and beauty hotspots, deals, and tips, all in our own backyard. I'll do the shopping so you don't have to. This is West Coast Style. Having that perfectly functional yet stylish wardrobe in the new year is within reach. I've already given you my top five must-have pieces, but on today's West Coast Style, it's all about making room for those must-haves by getting rid of what you don't need. Hi, Krista. Hi, Mona. To get your closet purged and perfect, I've requested the help of personal shopper and style consultant, Krista Lee. Her company, Style by Business, helps busy women obtain a more fashion-savvy wardrobe while saving them the time and hassle. I have a three-step process with my clients, so the very first thing before we even shop together, before I style them, is I go into their homes and completely reorganize their closet. Hi, Brianna. Hi. Hi. Are you ready to get started? Yes, I'm so excited. Well, I've asked Krista to help me out today because she's worked with me before and she's done an amazing job. I've actually moved from a nice large apartment where I could spread myself out to a smaller place. What we first did is we pulled everything already out of the, the closet and we've put it all into a bag. And what we're gonna do is individually take items out of it and we're gonna say, have you worn this in the last six months? If the answer is no, it is going in our giveaway uh, or our donate bin. And if it's something that yes, you indeed do wear all the time, we're gonna keep it. Okay, let's dig in. Brianna, when's the last time you wore these? In the summer. Summer, okay, mm -hmm. so that's gonna go in our keep bin. Okay, now the next item is... Wow. <laughs> I think it's time to say, Five blue sparkly pants. <laughs> Brianna, last time I checked, you were also not a dancer for the electric circus on Much Music, so you have to explain, when was the last time you wore this number? I wore it to a friend's wedding. Which was in 1998. <laughs> I always say that it's causing you more stress being in your closet than the feeling mm -hmm. of having it. Before long, we were plowing through Brianna's massive pile of clothes, taking out only what she no longer wears or needs. Woo! An empty bag, Brianna. <laughs> that took a little while, but how mm -hmm. does it feel? Feels good. But now, Krista, we need to take the keep items right. and see how they can fit in Brianna's more tinier closet. Exactly. She manages to get a lot of stuff into a tiny space and still make it look neat. What we're gonna do is place it in a color coordinated way. That's right, so right. she can see that if she needs that white shirt to go with that outfit right. in the morning, she exactly. knows where it is. Exactly, what you wanna be putting on your shelves are heavier knits. Um, you don't wanna hang them uh, unless you're putting your knits on something uh, like a rounded hanger because you don't want creases in your sweaters. Now, you've done a really great system on the yeah. bottom as well. We've really condensed some of her, um, say, her undergarments, and we've placed them in clear bins. But what about shoes? Krista advises to steer clear from hanging shoe organizers and instead go this route. What we've actually done is stored her shoes in a clear plastic bin that's, oh, e yeah. that's easier to just slide in and out. You recommend doing this process two times a year. Two times a year. <laughs> two times. One for fall and winter and one, one for, for spring, spring and summer. summer. So everything in here now is what she's currently using in season. Well, your closet is pretty much done, Brianna. How does it feel to Whoa. see everything so organized? It's amazing. <laughs> it's actually a really big relief. Is there some things that Brianna can take away from this that she can apply without your help? When you want to store it away, always store it in, in a clear container, because if mm. you can't see it, you're not going to wear it. Well, awesome. Brianna, we wish you luck yeah. in your closet endeavor. You know what? Thank you. It's been a total <laughs> pleasure. If you're in a situation similar to Brianna's, but still aren't sure how a service like Style by Business can help you, Krista says it starts as simple as just meeting up for tea. What I like to do is really spend a lot of time with my clients and get to know them and their lifestyle, and that's how they can most benefit from my services.
Whether you're going out with the old or in with the new, there's no better feeling than starting the new year with an organized and stylish closet. I'm Mana Mansoor for West Coast Style. Pacific Center's West Coast Style has been brought to you by Pacific Center. If you're in need of Krista's organizational assistance, the website is stylebybusiness.com. Seems perfect as we're going into a new year. It is the year of the dragon. Red, as always, is good luck. And it's fitting because on today's Wedding Bells feature, Sarah's learning about some of her new family's cultural traditions, including the Chinese lion dance. Hi, I'm Aubrey. And I'm Sarah. And we are the Wedding Bells. I just got engaged. And I did not. We're on an adventure to plan the big day. Sarah's fiance Jody is of Chinese ancestry. And for our wedding, I want to surprise him with her traditional celebratory lion dance. Here we are with Paul Tam. He is the Sifu at the CLF Kung Fu Club. And Sifu is master. Father, so half father, half, father, yeah. half teacher. Do people have a lion dance at their wedding? Is that is that common practice? Actually, it's not just a wedding. Anything, even something like the people pass away and all the stuff, and even give child's birth. So, for my wedding, how many lions could I have? Two. Usually it's two, because it's representing, one is like your ha husband and your fiancé, and then one is representing you to bring you luck. So in pairs, so usually. I get that they would eat the lettuce. Yeah, Why do they then throw it up? And they split it out to people. It's actually blessing for people. Uh. Yeah. Amazing. And I have to pick this up, but I, I don't. I don't know what it means. It means that flower is blossoming and representing bringing you a lot of money. Okay, let's lift oh this leg. Oh Although it was pretty obvious our lion dance was going to take a lot of work. At least I had found the perfect pink chung sam. For Shaw TV, where are the wedding bells? Traditionally, only men are allowed to do the lion dance, but as usual, the wedding bells have sweet topped some special treatment. And you know what? They are not the only ones. Just wait till you see what's coming up after the break. <sighs> I finally figured out how you can wear gorgeous high heels all day long. This is the secret. Rare investment, the good life. Horse play and happy feet. Being on the other side of the bar making the drinks is a completely different world. Sprout Shaw Community College's higher learning. Drinking on the job. <laughs> Still good. The Express, we are your local voice. Welcome back to the Express, a pure nail bar in Port Moody. Not just painting our nails red, but also painting the town red. There's lots of options for having fun in Vancouver, right? Dine out's on right now. Coming up, it's the Playhouse Wine Festival. But as we're enjoying ourselves, PR gal Shannon Hepp, well, she's actually working. On today's rare investment, The Good Life, we're learning her secrets to handling the stress of success. Rare investment, The Good Life, is brought to you by Rare Investment Online at rareinvestment.com. The good life. It's not all champagne and caviar. Johanna Ward has your insider's look at the influential. And we're learning their secrets to the good life. The West is best, but to live the dream in Lotus Land takes class and commitment. Take PR princess Shannon Heff. I'm in LA. Can you just make sure to compile that master media list? She runs a successful boutique PR agency in downtown Vancouver. <laughs> well, obviously she's gorgeous. She's also super glamorous and she's always on the go. Shannon is one of the hardest working people I know, so if anyone deserves a holiday, it is her. It's pretty intense. It's 12 to 16 hour days, most days lately, which I can't complain about because I'm busy, but it'd be nice to be able to relax a little more for sure. Shannon doesn't need a fairy godmother to grant her wish. Instead, we're giving her a guilt-free day to play hooky. You know what they say about all work and no play? 
Today, it's all play and we're busting you out of here. Come okay. on. I've been working with her for about five years and in that time, I've never seen her crack. So today, we're learning her secrets to handling stress. The first stop for the woman who spends all day on her feet, a chance to put her feet up. Our concept here is for you to relax and we do it by offering you Chinese reflexology, which works with the pressure points of the sole of your feet. I was actually hoping she'd say we were going for pedicures because I need one and because I don't like anything that hurts. Ah, okay, that kind of hurts. <laughs> but it's a good pain. Footworks is really great because it just fits into my schedule. You can book any time of day and it's nice and a quick treat. <sighs> I finally figured out how you can wear gorgeous high heels all day long. This is the secret. After the women have been sufficiently swept off their feet, it's time to trade up the glass slippers for some boots that are made for more than walking. I got the cowboy boots, the cowboy hat. I thought we were going horseback riding. Yeah, I don't ride western, though. I have a horse named Louie. I've had him almost half my life, actually. You gotta lose the hat, for sure. Can I at least get a yeehaw? <laughs> no. Well, when you get on, you're gonna do this, yeah? Thankfully for Johanna, Shannon has another way she likes to unwind. Okay, that was interesting. Yeah. Uh, so I've worked up an appetite. Time to eat now? Time to shop. Shop. Wow, it's beautiful. Love I love that. I would say shopping is probably my chocolate. There's another one of Shannon's secrets, why she stays so thin and stylish. While I'm eating french fries, she's doing retail therapy. Thanks, Don. And with that, a little purchasing, pampering, and playtime. Our PR princess is ready to keep building her real life fairy tale. Rare Investment The Good Life has been brought to you by Rare Investment at rareinvestment.com. Next week on Rare Investment, The Good Life, we'll meet award-winning blogger Miss 604. Then after that, it's Erin Ireland up to die for and banana bread fame. And what goes good with banana bread? I'd say a soy latte, or in Jackie's case, Earl Grey tea latte, right? On today's Sprout Shaw Community College's Higher Learning, Melanie's working at Starbucks. I'm going to owe you a drink after this job, <laughs> too. Sprodshaw Community College's Higher Learning is brought to you by Sprodshaw Community College at Sprodshaw.com. Double Tall Extra Hot Soy Latte. That's my order. Complicated? I don't think so, but I'll find out today when I become a Starbucks barista. I'm a once a dayer at Starbucks. I'm going to admit it. I feel bad for saying it out loud. At 3 o'clock, it's latte time. Bring it on. Can this coffee connoisseur cut it as a barista for a day? I've been a Starbucks store manager for two and a half years. Our baristas are multitasking masters. They serve people on the register, they you know, set up the pastry case, so they're, they're visual merchandisers as well as salespeople. Her first task, the till. I think that's the easy part. The hard part is the making the coffee. You just have to have a good memory, which I do. Guess what our code is for Americano? A? Yes! Baristas definitely need to be friendly, they need to have an entrepreneurial spirit in order to own each transaction, and they need to definitely have a commitment to quality. Oh. Italian roast <laughs> here, yeah. Let's try not to touch the top of the cup, too. Gotcha. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hi, can I get a tall, skinny, half sweet, no foam, extra hot caramel macchiato? Okay, so tall. We had a customer that was pretty difficult for Melanie. Where's the half under? Is there a box? Half. Mm -hmm. Non fat? Remembering all the modifications as the customer said it, and then trying to write it down in the Starbucks lingo that we use. A little bit of a challenge for her. And to be honest, I'm just trying to keep up. Perfect. You order that all the time? Every day? Yeah? Every day. Really? Five. Grande, non-fat, no foam, no water, chai latte. <laughs> so when it comes to lingo, I can tell Melanie's the Starbucks regular because she's pretty natural at getting all of the drinks and the names and the calling it. <laughs> Pam, what's your favorite pastry? Oat fudge bar. And hands what's down. the Hands down? That would be my biggest downfall, <laughs> I think. One too many cake pops, I think. 
Oh, those are under 200 calories. Oh, right. So if I eat 10, that's fine? It's fine. <laughs> Now the tough part, making the drinks. Can't have my hair in a latte. That's disgusting. We need you to load up our espresso hopper. OK. What's the first drink I get to make? We're going to test you with your drink. Oh. Yeah. Then I'm going to steam your milk. Make it hot. <laughs> Extra hot. <laughs> Automated machines make our experience at Starbucks much more A little more bit pleasurable. easier. I apologize for my high maintenance order. I'm saying it right now. I will from now on order Americanos <laughs> for my hand. Yeah, that's why we, we sleeve. Have Always a sleeve use a sleeve. On, like, okay. So Melanie's doing okay pouring coffee. She needs to remember to put a sleeve on it though for her sake and the customers. With her soy latte situation under control, Melanie tries her hand at some whipped oh, cream. <laughs> That is some ugly, uh, oh, some ugly whipped cream. That's a fail. We like to tease our new baristas when they screw up and tell them that they have to drink their mistakes. That's a great rule. <laughs> Still good. So can Melanie cut it as a Starbucks barista? So Pam, did I earn my apron? Hired me, fire me, what do you think? We're gonna work on your whipping skills, oh. but you're hired. Awesome, thank you. I look good in green. I think. I would definitely hire Melanie after her trial run today, mostly because we hire people based on their personality and who they are, not necessarily their barista skills, because we know we train people very well, so we can always work on that. Is it what I thought it would be? No. Being on the other side of the bar making the drinks is a completely different world. I will enjoy my coffee that much more because they put so much love and effort into it. Paul Vanilla Latte. Thank you. Thank you. Turns out I'm better at drinking coffee than making it. Sproudshaw Community College's Higher Learning has been brought to you by Sproudshaw Community College at Sproudshaw.com. Do you know there are over 87,000 different drink modifications that you can make at Starbucks? That just seems unbelievable. I think Mel might need a little bit more training and I think I'll just order a plain old coffee the next time I'm there. I don't even think there are that many different nail polish colors, but there are definitely that many things to do around town and we have a look at your top three with today's Express Spotlight. At the sixth annual Bite of White Rock, enjoy a delightful and affordable evening dining out. Wear your pink shirt on Pink Shirt Day and take a stand against bullying. Net proceeds benefiting the Boys and Girls Clubs of South Coast BC and the CKNW Orphans Fund. Wind Eruption on Granville Island is celebrating its seventh annual, truly unique Vancouver Winter Arts Festival. The big thing to make sure, you don't chip your nails when you attend any of those events. There are 10 pure nail bar locations around the Lower Mainland, including this one here in Port Moody. That's it for today's Express. Thanks for watching the show, only on Shaw TV. Okay, I totally owe you that latte now. <laughs> yeah? <laughs>